now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical weather bulletin for July 16th. Right now, the main uh, activity is in the Eastern Pacific with Hurricane Felicia, a decent looking Category 2 storm today, as we enter day 197 of the year so far. 40 storms have formed around the world to date, with possibly more on the way, uh, mainly in the Pacific. It's day 46 in the Atlantic though, we have an area of interest, but it's not a very decent looking one. A 10% chance, that's probably being generous for this little uh, area of interest, which is in the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean, well off the eastern seaboard of the United States. Day 62 of the Eastern Pacific hurricane season, and we have Felicia and that area of interest behind it, which has a very high chance of development. 80% uh, National Hurricane Center even more confident with a 90% chance in the next five days. In the Western Pacific we have another area of interest that's likely to develop very shortly in the Philippine Sea. Models have been predicting that to become a significant possibly intense typhoon for the Japanese Ryukyu Islands and the eastern coast of China. Another area of interest that we've just marked there for the late five day period at a 10%. No areas of interest active in the Indian Ocean right now. Uh, fairly quiet as you would expect, but the GFS even suggesting that on day 6 and 7 there could be an area of interest that could develop into a cyclone in the Bay of Bengal, which would be ridiculous quite frankly at this time of year. This is the satellite imagery right now. You can barely make out the area of interest towards the top of your screen there. Blew up some convection earlier today. Uh, so it's on life support right now, a 10% chance that, that will be dropping very soon, I'm sure. Uh, the pressure in the storm in the system is rising. Eastern Pacific looking like this, you can quite clearly see everything that's going on. A massive area uh, of disturbances that could, may develop into that next system. It'll take a while to develop. That there is Felicia on the screen quite clearly, uh, and an eye has appeared, and it's looking pretty good with the convection blowing up, mainly on the eastern side. Western Pacific right now looks like this. You can see the last 24 hours here. We're looking at that area of interest in the Philippine Sea, way east of Luzon, uh, towards the Mariana Islands. It's actually closer to the Marianas. Uh, and around, I think, 500 miles, I think it was, southeast of uh, Daiotojima in Japan. And this is the Indian Ocean looking very quiet at this point. The remnants of an area of interest in the South Indian Ocean that we had a low chance for a couple of days ago uh, is the only feature really. And here's another look at the Western Pacific towards the middle of your screen now. You can see that big burst of convection blowing up the latest of many bursts in this system. It looks like it's going to get going in the next 24 hours and probably become our next tropical cyclone. Um, whether it beats the Eastern Pacific or the next one worldwide, we'll see. Here's another look at Felicia, a little bit of a zoomed out view. It is a very small storm, um, very difficult to get your bearings and the scaling when you, when you have the storms that are way out at sea, but there it is, a very small storm, the eye popping out. Um, this image we're perhaps not doing it full justice, but we do have our live tracker on the uh, Force 13 YouTube channel which will be running live satellite imagery of uh, every flare-up that Felicia will give us over the next few days. Uh, models suggest it will start a slow weakening trend over the next few days, by the way, uh, and head towards the Central Pacific. Sea surface temperatures fairly warm, not so much in the Central Pacific and in the West and East Pacific, but along the coast of Mexico, very decent temperatures, 30 degrees possibly in some areas. Atlantic looking good, as you would expect. Gulf of Mexico, very warm, extending into the Caribbean Sea, extending way out into Sargasso Sea uh, and the Gulf Stream, uh, extending out quite significantly. Um, it's going to be potentially a long season over there in the Atlantic once again. Indian Ocean very warm, 30 degrees in some areas I think that might be. I uh, can't quite tell if that's 28 or the 30 degree isotherm. In the Western Pacific, 30 degrees there in the South China Sea and off the Philippines are where that system is right now. It's nudging 30 degrees Celsius. Um, again, if, I, if I'm right with those numbers, I think the colours may have changed slightly, but certainly very good temperatures all the way up to the coast of Kyushu, Japan, and just about towards uh, Shanghai, China. 
Sea surface temperature anomalies are much above average in the South China Sea uh, towards the uh, Pacific there, uh, the Eastern Pacific cooler than average out in the open waters towards the coast of Mexico warmer uh, along the coast of Florida much below average at the moment that's because of Elsa um, and you can just about make out this track out of that whole thing there. Um, and on this day, July 16th, 2005, a completely different scenario was playing out. Typhoon Haitang was peaking on this day as a Category 5 Super Typhoon. It would then go on to strike Taiwan as a Category 4. Uh, Emily was a Category 4, about to become a Category 5 at the end of the day. And the remnants of Dennis were still traceable over the United States, even though it made landfall several days ago. I think it must have been about five days before this date uh, on our On This Day feature today. So, uh, lots of things might be happening soon, but for now, the next name on the Atlantic naming list is Fred. In the Eastern Pacific, we're now looking out for Guillermo. In the Central Pacific, the next name on list one is Hone. In the Western Pacific, the next name now we're looking for, might be coming very soon, is Infa. In the North Indian Ocean, the next name is Gulab. Looking towards the Southern Hemisphere then, towards the Australian region first of all, the next name on the list there is Paddy. In the Southwest Indian Ocean, our new list starting with Anna, followed by Batsirai. In the South Pacific, the next name's Cody. We have our live streaming service running imagery of everything that's going on right now. Check it out. That's all for now. <laughs>